Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So regular viewers will know that I have a love for the APT and up till now I suspect a lot of people just thought it was the APTP. Now obviously I waited two years almost for the APTP to actually come out from Hornby. It has its upsides and it has its downsides but I absolutely love that model anyway. And as many of you know I got the 14 car set along with a spare power car and the development vehicle. However, years ago, Rapido Trains announced their first for the UK market model, which was the APTE in conjunction with Locomotion Models. And even though at the time I was really excited about it, I simply wasn't in a position at that time to afford to buy the APTE. As it was limited to 2000 models back then, I really did think that my only chance of ever owning one of them was to be buying it second hand. And as you can imagine, second hand prices for those models were and are at a premium. But to my shock, Rapido Trains announced that they were gonna do another run of the APTE. And when they did, I made sure that I pre-ordered one immediately. Having the APTP from Hornby, it felt only right I should make the effort to make sure I've got the APTE. I will say now that this is not a DCC sound version. Now I had my reasons for making that choice. First of all, a gas turbine engine or engines is quite frankly really loud and it doesn't have the same appeal to me as say a class 37 thrashing out of a station it would to me be very much like a droning noise yes you'd have the horns and things like that but i don't tend to run an awful lot of my stuff with sound anyway that being said if i were to run a dcc it's likely i'll just fit a standard decoder for the time being i've just bought a dcc ready version and although it doesn't have all the sound bells and whistles that way i'm still very very happy with this model now as you can see from images in this video the packaging is absolutely amazing it's got stunning artwork on the box and the packaging itself is just in incredibly strong it's a very professional box it's very solid there's an incredible amount of foam packaging that's in it all of the ice cube blocks for each individual item really comprehensive lists and diagrams of all of the components involved in making these lovely set of stickers and probably the most important and also completely hysterical instruction manual i have to say that rapido trains have got an incredible sense of humor now there's not an awful lot i can say about the model other than the detail is absolutely incredible the amount of panel lines the rivets alone just the rivet detail and i am not a rivet counter and I'm, i would imagine there are rivet counters out there who are currently going whoa because there are just absolutely thousands of them on these models the bogey detail is incredible the roof detail everything is just amazing and considering this is a second run and the original model was a number of years back now must be about six years ago since since it was last released it really is standing up now i've seen the apt a number of times at children at locomotion it's sort of a love it or hate it locomotive and i've got to say that i still have my love for the aptp however the level of detail on this model is so amazing that it's got to be said i've got to say it this probably is the most detailed model train that i physically have i don't believe a single one of my other models has got the level of detail that this model has now for all it's a wonderful model it's also an incredibly scary model or at least for me anyway it is imperative and i really can't stress that enough that if you have one of these you read the instruction manual first Trying to put this together blindly could really end in disaster. I've put this together once and I've got to tell you it has been the scariest process I have ever had to do with a model. Handling it alone has absolutely terrified me whilst doing it. As well as having a close coupled system that works with its tilt and runs power all the way along the train using a series of connecting socket plugs, you have to also apply a certain amount of pressure to push these two together. Now if that isn't bad enough, if you come to take it apart, you then have to apply pressure in the opposite way to pull them apart. And it just scares the life out of me because of the detail on it. So it's one of those models that really won't be coming on and off the track all the time. For the moment, we're having a look at it and I've got it going around on the track, but to be perfectly honest, it will be going back in its box very shortly afterwards purely because I really don't want it to get damaged by accident at the moment whilst so much construction work is taking place with layouts and things like that. For those of you who haven't got one or haven't seen any other videos, both power cars are motorized. The weight of the power cars is incredible. The amount of traction this thing has with its weight is just incredible. 
To give you an idea, I'll weigh TC1, which is the coach with both bogeys, and you'll see it's sort of like the average weight of a coach, that sort of thing. And then I'm gonna put one of the power cars on its own onto the scales, just to give you an idea of the weight of the actual power car. So if I put the coach with two bogeys on, that is TC1, we're getting about 133 grams. That's pretty average for a, a coach. Take that to one side. If I put PC2 on, about 430 grams. I'm just gonna check to see if the other power car weighs about the same. About 435, so a slight difference. Between the two power cars, you're looking at nearly a kilo, which is just an incredible amount of weight and traction. Now I've got to say something here, and it's not something I would normally do. And I tend to keep myself pretty impartial. I tend to come into reviews and things like that and unboxings with a completely open and clear mind. The price of this train pack in comparison to say the price of the Hornby APT train pack are miles apart. As a DCC ready version of the APTE in comparison to the DCC ready version of the APTP, there was a notable difference in the price. There was also an incredible noticeable difference in the detail. The quality is absolutely superb from Rapido. I've got to say that. The Hornby APTP is, is very nice. It's a part of my collection and, it, and it's a train that is very close to my heart, but I still can't get over the level of detail to price margin for this, the APTE. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget if you haven't already subscribed, click on the round button. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch some more, there's another video at the top of the screen and there's a playlist at the bottom. See you again soon.